These are some of the tire tracks you can see from Cleveland Avenue leading all the way up to Milford Avenue. You can see the SUV driver ran over this sign, left pieces of the SUV behind before slamming into the brick wall, exposing a classroom inside. This crash happened just after 2 this morning. This is some video our crew shot earlier. The daycare is supposed to open at 6.30 this morning. It's unknown if that will still happen. We are waiting to hear from the daycare owner. Three people were taken to the hospital. We do not know if all three taken to the hospital were in the SUV at the time of the crash. Two were taken to Grant and a third was taken to Riverside. Police haven't told us what caused the driver to crash, but if I take my flashlight, we can just take a look inside this classroom. The wall is on its side. You can see where the kids' toys were, desks, and even coats that the kids left behind. No kids were here at the time, and we're waiting to learn when this daycare will reopen. We're live on the northeast side. Jen French, Good Day Columbus. Police tell us three people are in the hospital this morning, but did not say if all three people were in the SUV. Officers did not tell us where the SUV was coming from, but we do see a trail of damage. This is a piece of the car from Cleveland Avenue leading up all the way to the child care center. I want to show you some video our crew shot just after two this morning. We do know two people were taken to Grant Medical Center. One of those people are in serious condition, the other in stable. A third person was taken to Riverside Hospital in stable condition. We have little information about the driver. We are still waiting to learn what caused the crash and what condition the driver was in. Police have not told us if the driver will be cited. We are waiting to hear when or if this child care center will be fixed and if they plan on reopening soon. We are live in Northeast Columbus. Jen French, Good Day Columbus.